That was not like that. I know for a fact that was not like that. Somebody even there. There's scratch marks. Look. I'm walking by right there. Dude, it's not like somebody just went in the cabin. It's not like somebody just went inside of our cabin, dude. <laughs> Everybody, my name is CJ Faison. First and foremost, welcome to the video. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button tonight. I am joined by one of my best friends, Dirty Sunny Deeds, who is laughing right now for some strange reason. You guys need to see what this dude does before the camera starts rolling. <laughs> I'm a little entertaining, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm a little yeah. entertaining, all right? Yeah. So tonight, we are back at the cabin. You all requested it. You guys were like, you've got to go back for the part two. That's exactly what we're doing tonight. With that being said, we had a lot of weird stuff happen in this cabin, and on a real note, let me get into that. I really need to recap what happened here the other night with Sonny and I. One of the strangest things, maybe I would call it strange or very creepy, possessed type situations I've ever been a part of in my entire life. As you all saw in part one, we were here, just us. There was two other cabins that were rented out as well. We thought it was someone messing with us at the beginning and it turned out to be a lot more than just a person messing with us. In part one, there is a part of the footage near the end of the video where Sonny was sleeping and just stood right up walked over towards the window, and I get chills just thinking about this. He walks over to the window, stands there for four or five minutes straight, does not even move a muscle. <sighs> oh, this creeps me out. So Sonny proceeds to walk out of the bedroom, out of the actual like living area of this cabin, walks out onto like the front porch like patio area, and is sitting there looking straight out at nothing, literally nothing at all. There was no lights on, no anything. And he's just standing there. And I went up to him and I'm like, Sonny, what are you doing? It's like four o'clock in the morning or something like that. And I'm like, dude, like just come inside. It's cold outside. This is stupid. Like, why are you out here alone? Like he locked himself out pretty much. Like this door locks behind you. He doesn't even know the code to get back in. Well, the only thing that woke me up was when he slammed that door. When he slammed the door, I don't know why, but I just woke up right out of a dead sleep and was just like knew something wasn't right. Didn't realize he was gone until I looked over the uh, actual bunk of the bed and I realized that Sonny was no longer there. So I personally believe that Sonny is possessed. I'm not kidding with you all when I say this. I'm not even joking around. I know Sonny and I, we have to have a lot of fun on these videos and it's very laughable and funny and scary and everything like that. 
But at the end of the day, I honestly, truly believe that I, I think he's possessed. I really, really do. We had an incident a few weeks ago in the Pocomoke Forest where he actually summoned a ghost or a demon named David. And that is where everything started to go wrong. That's when everything started to change for Sonny, at least. Immediately in the Pokemon Force, he felt sick to his stomach, thought he was gonna just vomit everywhere. So he stopped recording that night and went and sat in the truck for the rest of the night. And then we get here, and you know, Sonny had been telling me he's been feeling a little weird, a little sick, you know, just not really himself. And I'm like, well, you know, it just could be something you ate, and sometimes that lasts for a while. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, so when things happen to you, you kind of just have to roll with the punches, as I call it. We're gonna turn the lights back off here in the cabin, so that way it is completely, completely creepy. To make a long story short, here's what we're gonna do tonight. We have found uh, what they call a jack-in-the-box. Some people call it a pop-up, scare the shit out of you box. Um, this was in the parking lot, right where you park your vehicle at. And it is an old school jack-in-the-box, basically. So if you all remember these growing up as a kid, I'm sure you know, you do that and then it pops out and it literally scares you. So we found this in the parking lot and I'm 99.9% .9 sure that it was probably a kid's it fell out while they were loading up their vehicle or whatever there was, you know, parents were in a rush, whatever it might be. Almost brand new. You can tell there's like kid's sticky stuff on it. Uh, but what we're gonna do, we're gonna mess with it. We're gonna see, um, you know, we, we kind of got this challenge idea that we just came up with in our head that would be kind of Fun to do, I guess. So we're gonna see how that goes. CJ and I are then gonna take turns asking each other questions, and after we ask the questions, we are going to turn crack, turn the crank three times. One, two, three. And if the jack in the box happens to pop out on your turn, what does that mean, CJ? It means yes. It means yes. Yep. Okay, guys, the jack in the box pops up, that's yes it's to changing. the question. Nothing happens in between. We just keep going until we get a, a, a positive response or a yes response from this thing. Okay. Damn, every time. Oh. Are there any spirits here tonight? Ten? Or ten? Ten? Ten. I've heard almost, almost like the same sound twice. Yeah, that's really strange actually. Um. Call it all. It's black. Alright, here we go. The Jack in the Box Challenge right hate here. Me and CJ. Hate it, we've never played it. I, I, hate I it. hated this growing up. Oh, the Jack in the Box. Oh, it scares the <laughs> shit out of me, man. I feel like really weird even touching this thing. Is there anyone here with us right now? Mm -hmm. That was three. Three. Okay. okay. Seven. Bam! Damn it! Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. We think we heard the name Tim. Is your name Tim? If you are good, make this thing pop up out of here. Did you do it three times? I did do it three I times. I don't think you do it. Watch did he do it back. three times? Watch the video back. I did it three times, 100%. Heart's racing, actually. Yeah. I don't okay. know if it's just a setting in the cabin or what, but it's like really... I'm, I'll scary. go ahead. Look, I'll go ahead and ask the question to clear your mind. Are you possessed? Has a spirit attached itself to me? Oof. Oh, bro, that ain't <laughs> funny. Here, goosebumps on my nipples got hard. Dude, dude, it's just a coincidence, man. What That's no coincidence. You've like been all like these possessed, and now like, are there any spirits attached to me? Okay. Okay, so you stand in like a, you stand in a blind for uh, six or seven minutes. I'll do it like you... this. 
it's sleepwalking, man. Millions of people, listen, listen, guys. If any of you have ever been caught sleepwalking or what have you, drop a comment on both of these videos. It's, it's, nah. I think it's quite common. Especially with well, medication. Sleepwalking is common, but like not standing up for six or seven minutes straight. I, I, I don't know. I've never done it before. so well, I don't Just to be safe, asking if it means any harm to you. That's what I would ask. I would want to know that before I lay my head down tonight. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually make oh. it even broader. I'm going to just broader. Because this could, this could cover anything. Am I in danger... If I stay in this cabin another night. That was weird. 100% weird. What the actual hell? Am I in danger by being here tonight? I'm laughing because I'm not in danger, but you're in danger. I don't like that thing. I'm done for it. You're done with it? Yeah, 100% done. I hate that thing. Too. Is something trying to kill me or harm me tonight, specifically? Has there been anyone killed inside this actual cabin? You didn't even get three? I didn't even get three. And I just got goosebumps. So that means someone was literally killed in the cabin in here. Is there a spirit attached to me now? I don't even like that you didn't make like one rotation. I really don't. You see what I mean? something it sounded like it was like there like a little like a click or something and then it was like a What the f was that? Oh, that's not that stairs. Dude, there's nothing up here. There's literally nothing up here.
listen, it sounds like it's at the door here. Do you hear that? My bad, dude. Everything is going to happen. Uh, uh, those different noises. Comment below if you hear the banging. Comment if you've heard the knock that was upstairs and things like that, because I know we're not crazy. What the fuck is going on outside? Dude. What is that? Where did you go? Did you go all the way out? Yeah, I went all the way out. He's gonna go the other. I'm gonna go to the right. Holy day. Jesus, this is the biggest leap I've ever seen in my life. That's my foot. I wear a size 11. God. Yo, look what I found. Look how big that leaf is. Lord. Look how big it is compared to my head. I got a big head. Either, <laughs> yes, I was going to say either What that's monster a, did that fall? A giant leaf or you do have a small head. Thank you. Is there anything that way? Was there anything that way, though? No, I didn't hear anything running or anybody running while we were, um... But you, uh... What the fuck was that? Fine, that wasn't the house, bro. That wasn't the house. So, bro, that wasn't the house. Dude. Are you serious? Look under the beds. Man, there's some serious ass ghost activity that's going on in here now. Guarantee it, dude. Guarantee it. I don't think anybody could sit underneath there. No, there's no way. Did you just hear that? Was that? Was that up? I thought you closed that. I did. I, I swear you closed that. I did that. What? Oh gosh damn dude, that's moving. Dude, that's moving. That's good. Why is that moving? What is that freaking noise? I mean, it is raining, but rain doesn't sound like somebody like dropping like a hammer on something. Man, this is strange.
tell you, why don't we, why don't we do this? Why don't we, um, why don't we do this? Why don't we turn our lights off? Turn our lights off? And just listen. Okay, I'm down. see if we can try to tell what the different sounds are. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because I think we're getting paranoid running around. Yeah, I'm going to actually turn. I'm going to set my camera up right here. Set your camera up over there, maybe. And, like, that way we get two different... All right, guys, CJ's light is off. I'm getting ready to turn this one off, and I'm going to go sit over beside him on the bench. We're just going to listen and see what we can hear in the dark, see if we can differentiate the sounds. Damn, I can't even see now. Oh my gosh, this is creepy. Okay, do I have the whole bench to myself, or are you going to sit behind me? I'm going to sit with my back against the wall. So no, oh, that's fucking fine. weird. That's actually a good idea. Yeah. Honestly, one of the creepiest things I've ever done. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, dude, my eyes are wide open so wide. I'm like trying to evolve into another creature trying to stay in the darkness. Did you just touch me? My hands are in my lap. What? Dude, 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 dude. Please tell me. I'm sorry. I'm over here in the corner, petrified. What the hell? That, that door is closed, bro. Dude, that door is closed. My camera was just blurry. That had to have been what it was. Do we just turn the lights back off and just keep seeing if something happens? What do you think? Well, let's do it. Let's turn the lights back off. I'm gonna open that door back up. Yeah, Maybe like the wind or. Door. <clears throat> Stay. All right, let's try that again. I don't like that, dude. That was really strange. Okay, where is the chair? Um, hold on. Here. Oh, I want to hear you say, you know, like. All right. You get in the chair. Yeah, I don't like. I don't like being that close, man. I really didn't. Super. I'm gonna take my flashlight out there. That was your chair, right? Yeah, that was your chair. Against the wall. Or, uh, off the wall. There we go. It sounded like a gun. Like someone like cocked a gun. You didn't hear that? Um, I heard like a click. I don't know if it was like a gun, maybe a knife. Oh, it's even worse. This is severely weird, actually. Uh, what was that? What was that? I think we're nuts, man. We're what? We're nuts. I could have told you that. <laughs> oh, shit! Dude, don't do that. That thing just opened by itself, dude. That thing literally just opened by itself. You have to like crank the bitch to make it do that. I'm telling you right now, that thing just opened by itself. 
right. Um, I don't want to. Let's move that damn thing. If we're gonna do this. We, I gotta yeah, get let's, something. Let's I don't like that. Thing. We're gonna move this in the center of the room. I don't. Like we're gonna leave that in the center of the room because that was weird, dude. How in the hell? I was sitting here like this, my hands in my lap, and then that thing just goes boom in the middle of the table. Hey, Summer. All right, Paul's right here. Power on. Now, in SB7 mode. I'm gonna put that right there and start new clip now. All right, dude, let's just sit in here, like, okay, let's just sit here for like a couple more minutes and then, and then see. Everything electronic and everything that can pop up now is on the floor. The spirit box is right there. The little jack-in-the-box thing is in the middle of the room. Creepy. What? My eyes are playing tricks on me. I saw a movement. Hmm. But it's probably just a shadow from something. It's gotta be from something. Is someone throwing rocks at the roof? You hear that? Yeah, I hear the. Like a, a step or something on here. A what? I didn't hit a, like a like. A step. Like a like a footstep, like a like a step. Did you felt a step or? No, yeah, I heard it. I heard it. Oh, son of a bitch, dude! Oh my gosh, Sonny, turn it, turn it. Oh my gosh, dude! Oh my gosh! No joke. Something just pulled me right out from underneath of me, bro. I'm not even joking with you right now. I'm about to cry. What the hell was that? Something literally just pulled my legs out from under me. I'm not even kidding you. I swear. Right, um, oh my gosh, man. Yeah, I don't... Uh, I could have like, cracked my head open. You almost fell into me. Dude, what is going on? That's weird. I, I don't know, but I don't. That's I, weird. I, I know I'm not. Uh, mm. I'm not liking it one bit. Man, that's just the strangest thing ever, actually. Damn. Are you sure you didn't trip over my camera bag? No, I'm positive. I was in that. I was in. I'm in between like the hallway, like the doorway there. I don't, I don't feel safe in here, dude. I really, truly don't. I don't think that whatever is in here or around this area, there's not a nice spirit that has been in this since we, we got in here tonight. 
Not a single nice spirit at all, dude. Listen, listen. I don't understand what that noise is. It sounds like somebody taking a, a metal hammer and some metal stake and driving it into the ground. Oh, dude, I'm sorry. Dude, 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 dude. Oh, if I hear him get sick, I'm going to get sick too, but I don't want to be here. Oh, that's just great. My camera's blurry. Sonny, you all right? Oh, bro, you good? Okay, there's a noise back inside the cabin, dude. Did you just get sick? Yeah. There was a noise just back in here, dude. Yo, you just gonna call that quits? Yeah, dude, because I'm... <sighs> I'm serious. Do you want to call this quits? You don't look good, man. You look pale as hell. I can't, yeah, I can't do Look that. at your sweating. I can't. Yeah, I, I, I. I gotta get out of here, bro. Yeah.